And as he put the foot down, there it goes. Oh, that is horrible to see. That's horrible to see. It's so disappointing for Drew Mitchell. We see he was in the clear. We were, it looked like he was going for his hat trick, and he easily, uh, immediately pulls up there. That's so disappointing, and that could be the end of his tournament, well, unfortunately. Send him back on if you don't want him. Well, Robbie Deans cannot believe his luck. Having disposed of the USA, he lost so many of his back lines. In terms of Rob Horn, Fanger, or Anthony Fanger, Curtly Beale, and Pat McCabe. And now it looks like Drew Mitchell uh, is going to be incapacitated at least. Play continues as Mitchell gets treatment on that far touch line. And it's terrible to see for Drew Mitchell. He's worked his... his yep. He's worked his socks off in the last few months to get back. It's really disappointing when you see a player getting injured like that. Well, Mick Phipps is going to come on for his first taste of Rugby World Cup action, but not in the position that he was hoping for. He's the number three scrum half. And I think he's going to be sent over to the far touch line. He has got a fair amount of gas to him. He's used to playing the sevens game. So the wide open spaces won't worry him. But he's going to have to get up to speed fairly quickly and enjoy his last, the last 26 minutes or so of this game. Cut back from Cousin. Hold white. And Rashkoff looks for territory, and that's a good kick from the replacement fly half. That's why he's into this lineup now, because Kingsley Jones knows that his team have to be in the right sort of areas to play the game they want to play. That's a great kick from Ratchkoff, and I think it might have been a little bit of a mistake playing Kushner F. Uh, made a few mistakes defensively. He spoke about his talent, uh, you know, with the ball in hand, but this is what Russia need. They need to clear their lines, and magnificent kick, kick from, uh, from Ratchkoff. Safe take from the Australian line out. Although Ricky Olsen has to pick up the bouncing bomb. Looks to his posts. Burgess and Cooper with plenty of time to decide what they're going to do. Cooper's not looking for the line. He's looking to get Australia up towards halfway. Oh, judo throw from Quade Cooper. Dangerous. Deemed dangerous by Bryce Lawrence. A tad harsh? Yeah, it's probably a little bit high. It's not... Uh, it's nothing serious, he doesn't need to even talk to him, but I think he just grabs him around the neck and flings him on the ground. Mm, the hand just slips up around the head, so it's probably, yeah, it's probably a correct decision. I don't think he wanted to be bowled over there, uh, Quaid Cooper. There's been question marks about his defence before, and he stood his ground there against a, a strong man in uh, Simplikevich. So it's as you were. It's going to be a Russian line-out down in this... Oh, left-hand corner, and Quaid Cooper is going to be on defensive duty once again. See, sticking Cooper out beyond Adam Ashley Cooper out on the left-hand side, and putting Radiki Samo in his defensive first line. What can the Russians work from here? Chance for second try. Well, doing ecstasy to the Russian team, that's for sure, taken up front by Fatakov. Anushka no. biding his time, waiting for the moment to strike. Popov picking it up, there was a hint of a knock forward from an Australian hand. The Russians continue to drive at the fringe. Feeds the second pod, the second group of forwards trying to set something up. Now they move it wide. Cousin wrapped up by his opposite number, Adam Ashley Cooper and Beric Barnes. And there's a turnover there for the Australians if they want it. It comes out to Burgess. Now they're weighing up the options. In the end, the ball is booted up over halfway. Achemyev tries to run it back. Somehow up in support, but there's Ostrowsko. He loves it with the ball in hand, a powerful runner. Rashkov again looking for 
the kick pass really and Connor takes it well despite Beric Barnes coming through and then drops it Prishpenko up to support but couldn't find his front row partner Popov was thinking then about the 26 meter sprint but decided the better of it I'm not sure O'Connor was uh, was knew he was uh, marking Prishapenko because uh, it's a great catch here and he just falls over if he gets free there but he does well Prishapenko and uh, fortunately can't get the pass off to pop off it's a good a, a good period for Russia there I think you know a lot of um, a lot of good ball recycling and good carries from them certainly they've uh, they've been quite positive in the last few minutes the way they've tried to play the game and certainly the Russians have made the most of this opportunity we've been talking with the Russian management about what they're going to do what this means to the country and the, the steep learning curve we knew it was there they've been trying as they say to put structure into into their unstructured game but they, they really are leaving a legacy here as Drew Mitchell gets that it looks like a hamstring strapped up They've been offered strategic relationships with several teams in New Zealand. Okay, left, last week they left a, a Russian book section in the Rotorua Library to, to make sure people understand a bit more about their country and where they've come from. They've got the new stadium in place. They've got to improve the league. They're going, these players go back to the semi-finals in the Russian league next weekend. So they hope that they've added their bit to what has been a fabulous tournament and certainly it's something that they've enjoyed in these four matches making the most of the opportunities available to them it's been massive for them I think you know uh, they're, they're a second tier nation and they're very very early in their development as a rugby nation to compete with a World Cup is a massive thing for any player and uh, certainly let's hope in the next couple of years that we see them develop and come 2015 that they can be uh, much stronger and, and able to compete against the bigger nations Holding. Well, certainly their target by 2015 is that they're in the top 12 they're going to have a bit of work to be done in the evidence that we've seen in these four games but there's no question that they have the appetite and the desire to make it happen numbers available on that right hand side this time the kick pass maybe not have been the best option for Rashkov and James O'Connor had plenty of time to deal with that. Kuzan, he's got a winger's pace. Needed the ball in hand there. The replacements continue. As uh, do the back line. Alexei Trafkin will replace Prishapenko as tight head. Obviously, we're given very interesting newspapers every day with you know, its wall-to-wall -wall rugby coverage in every single paper. One of the things that amused me this week was a new study trying to identify the quintessential Kiwi smell. And it rates wet rugby field well down the list behind the scent of sheep and dairy farm beasts, Friday night fish and chips and mum's cooking. Oh, the break comes on from Simplikovic. And Simplikovic is going to race in for his second try, for Russia's second try, and the crowd have gone ecstatic. Well, this boy is known for scoring tries. He scored a hat-trick in the Under-20 World Championships last season. And really, they think he's got the X Factor, and look at the crowd enjoying the moment. And again, I think the, uh, the Australians are, are applauding that as much as the Russian people here very very loose pass from Quaid Cooper and that's the danger with Cooper he can get like that sometimes but see the power here this guy he's, he's a very very good player and what a just reward for his efforts he's absolutely delighted and that's massive for him just 20 years of age but such an impressive physical specimen six foot four 105 kilos he's uh, he's a massive guy for for a winger and uh, very, very promising. The Russian management have spoken to us about his talent. He's a star in the seventh circuit with Russia. Um, he's certainly be attracting uh, interest from European clubs. And, you know, he's, he's just been fantastic again tonight and ag uh, against Ireland last week. Rashkov adds the extras. Now, the minor problems for the European clubs may be that he would be considered as a foreign player. And like, say, the Georgians or the Romanians, but uh, that's no question he has that X factor and he has the talent. And as Quade Cooper found out, he is a very tall and very fast man. Yeah, you see the power here and he's very, very quick. It's an opportunist try. He hasn't had much to work off, but has done very well tonight. Tackle 
Sackler assist, release. And she was driving their way out from the 22. Clear space. And this now is about assist. concentration for Australia, isn't it? I mean, the match was won after 20 minutes, but this is about concentration and trying to keep keep their game plan yeah, it's a in, in shape. It's a difficult period in the game. Last 20 minutes, you're winning by 40, 50 points. You have to keep going. I think Robbie Deans, Jimmy Williams, they'll want him to keep going, be ruthless, be clinical. Um, of course, the fear is that they get any more injuries like Drew Mitchell, but I think uh, these guys are experienced enough now after the loss against Ireland. They'll want to keep going, the Australians, and uh, try and put themselves forward for a quarter-final next week, which that's the key. He hopes to have a full selection next week, Deans, and these guys will want to be in the starting team. Burns waiting for the next phase of attack for Russia. Sets the ball back for his scrum half. And quickly, Australia up to close the door. Burgess getting his opposite number. Russia being forced back behind the gain line. But security is there. Pop off. Stepping in at scrum half. And Yushkin hobbling at the moment. Could be a problem for Russia. Puts it back to his fly off. And Radiki Samo happy to let it float over his shoulder. And the mistake is going to allow Australia to get the hands back on the ball. There is Jan Yushkin. Just took a whack. The end of that last move. They've got. Shakirov on the bench. Don't know what the scrum half should they need him? Loose kick from uh, from Ratchkov there straight out. I think he's, his options were limited. After two or three phases there, they just looked a bit deflated. Russia uh, didn't look to be going anywhere. And uh, poor kick cross field. And uh, Again, this is uh, we, we speak, Simon, about the challenge Australia have. The challenge for Russia is now to, to keep going. I think uh, 20 minutes' time, the World Ladies Cup is over. They're back on a plane to, to Moscow, and um, you know, the, the World Cup will be a distant memory for them. Yes, yeah, very good point, Alan. That this is their last 20 minutes of Rugby World Cup action, and they have to make it count and leave everybody with the feel-good factor from the Bears. Speaking to their players during the week, they've loved every minute of it. They've, they're just, they've just been intrigued, these guys, by playing against some of the best players in the world. It's been a fantastic experience for them. Absolutely delighted to see him score the two tries tonight. Ten metres. The drizzle continues here in Nelson. We're back to the old school again, Simon. Here we go. The call, and they call this old school. It looked pretty old school the last time. That's a head down, dynamic run up. Gonna have to try and make it count a bit more. There's pop off out to Fatakov. Looking to get the offload away, but. Not allowing that. Again, it's Chris Edward. Look at the work from Mafu, the leg drive to force his man back. Koshkov puts one up into the drizzle. O'Connor can't get near it, but Samo makes a hash of the loose ball. And it's Simplikovic who picks up the scraps. Now, cool head needed, but... I'm going to go Not back, I think. It was a knock on, was a yes. If Bryce Lawrence pulls them back. Well, this game just breaking up a bit now as Popov comes off to be replaced by Botvinnikov. In the Babiev. Babiev jumps early there and put James O'Connor off. Uh, very, very good kick from Ratchkov that time. Great, great up and under. Action. 
So the makeover Coach. to the Russian front row has been completed. Pause. See how they fare in the oh, scrum. Hands on the floor, you can see, but the referee happy to let play continue. Good run around from Shakarov. Sets the ball back. Sets off. Well, the Russian forwards happy to get their 